Hey guys, welcome back to the another video. This is the episode 3 of Logo Carousel. So today I will show you how we can fix the issue of the carousel in the uh, Elementor editor. So in the last episode we saw how uh, we can use the Elementor values through our uh, element into the uh, front end. So today we will see when we change these values how we can reflect those values and show the uh, uh, carousel into the builder as well so let's fix the problem so for this we need to use this uh, content template method now here uh, what we will need we will need to use the uh, JS template that Elementor uses okay so at first we need to uh, use the syntax like this this is the opening and the closing for the JS template we are using and we need to use this uh, view object view dot and the method name is add uh, render attribute uh, attribute and uh, then uh, we need to pass uh, exactly the same way we passed into the PHP as you can uh, Remember this is the add render attribute and this is the same way just the, just the camel case way we are writing so uh, what we actually uh, need to do here Is to pass the ID here, so let's say logo carousel Options here and then we need to pass an object so the first one is the id and we can say logo carousel id and then we will say the similar way data loop and this one this time we can access these values like the settings object if you can remember from the previous vid videos i have shown you into the previous pre uh, preview card widget if you can remember into the content template we can access the settings values uh, like uh, uh, within the settings object like settings dot the key name so we can say settings dot loop like this and then data dots so you can say settings dot dots then data navs we can say settings dot navs and for the margins we can say it like a data dash margin and we can say settings dot margin like this okay so this is how we set up our add a render attribute now it's time to pass this method but before that we actually need to replicate this DOM structure into this one I mean into the JS template structure structural way so what actually we can do we can copy this DOM and uh, we can paste it here and at first let's remove all the PHP part from here so we do have the clean HTML only so we will uh, remove all the HTML from there uh, sorry not the HTML but the PHP part from sorry but the PHP code from there so this is the plain HTML that we have right now now we need to pass the HTML uh, sorry the JS template values here so at first let's let's check whether the uh, uh, js uh, the slider has the slides or not okay so let's open the syntax literal here and we can say like if settings dot slider remember slider is the key of the uh, slides that we have this one and so slider dot length that means we are uh, checking the that the slider is the slider has any slides in it or not if it has any 
then what we will then only we will uh, render this DOM so we are closing the if statement here so if it has some slides then what we will do here uh, we will uh, loop through it okay so for looping through we need to open the literal syntax literal again so for this we need to use dot underscore underscore dot each method okay this is the method for in the underscore js to looping through so settings dot slider each setting slider we need to looping through and pass a function here and for each slide uh, we will look through it okay so again we need to uh, let's cut this part because we need to end through this like this one all right so we are looking through this and then if, uh, if we look if we can look through this then we will implode the image url here so how we can do that because we are looking through the slide so we can say slide dot uh, slider image slider underscore image now wh uh, why i'm saying this slider underscore image because this is the key name of the uh, slider images that we actually used uh, if we can if we forget i can show you this is the repeater slider image and this is the repeater slider title key okay and this is the slider repeater key so within the slider we do have uh, we are looping through by this slide and in within the slide we have this slider image and the slider title so we know in the slider image we have some other objects for url we can grab the url like this okay and for the alter tag we can say and uh, by the way if we want to pass uh, within the attributes we need to pass it within the double quotation mark so you can say here slide dot slider title so we passed the value here as well now one thing we are missing we use this add render attribute but we are not yet passing the value here so similar way actually this is a similar way we used add render attribute and passed it like get render attribute into the dom like this right so we can do similar things here as well like within the double uh, within the triple quotation remember triple curly braces not the single curly braces but because within the triple curly braces we can render the dom okay actual dom so what we can do here we can do like few dot get render attribute string same method with the camel case structure get render attribute string and within that we need to pass the id and the id is logo carousel options right so i think this is it it looks nice so finger cross let's see into the editor now so let's hit refresh it should appear yes it is appeared let's check for any console error first looks good looks good no error so okay so let's edit it so now the nav is true and the uh, dot is true so let's uh, disappear the dots first so it is working as you can see now it is not disappearing right so and if we can increase it and it is increasing and if we update it hit refresh and it is staying so let's uh, check the behavior of the front end whether it is similar or not so there is no nabs and dots and the uh, gap is 35 pixel so let's hit refresh and as you can see the reflection is the same 
so i think uh, you have understand it better now you can implement it as i have done it here so i think you enjoyed the video if if so then please like and share this video and if you have any queries about it please do leave some comments and let me know if you face any difficulties i'm here to help you so until the next video stay tuned and i will see you in the next video bye bye